and welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live action from Liga. It is Montpellier, and they face Metz. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. And the lineup for Montpellier. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other. They should still cause problems today. And the match is underway. Really bright looking attack. And he's through here. But can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. Attending to his defensive chores. Well, here's something the visitors know they've really got to work on, Stuart. And talking about scoring goals, they just haven't had the magic touch. Well, too many passes go sideways and backwards. And unless they continue to play more forward passes, their struggles in front of goal will continue. Oh, Stuart, they might be onto something here. Well, if truth be told, he made it rather straightforward for the keeper. Well, he knows it. That is a real waste of a great opportunity. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Shot attempted. Still possibilities. And this time the run, sadly. That's offside. Savanier on to Molle. It will be claimed by the keeper, and the keeper has possession of it. And a creative look about this, and nicely struck. Full credit, wonderful stop. Short corner favoured. Giving them a different option by moving in field. Able to get a body in the way. Breaking at pace. 
Oh, a lovely ball. Difficult to stop him. Well, a chance here, perhaps, to invigorate their aerial targets. Now sending it in. It's not a particularly good corner there. Well, the hosts have had most of the ball in the last 15 minutes and have played some really lovely football going forward. They must now make it count and get themselves in front. Savanier. Chota. Chance to do damage chance and up for grabs off the keeper well no damage done Maiga keeping the ball moving and the referee blows for a foul well some referees might have reached for the yellow card but not this one yeah another foul and he will get a yellow card that's for sure Plattered away. Can they hit on the break? Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? I don't think too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. Agno Suke. Savanier. And space to exploit, maybe. And he takes it on. Oh, he saved it well. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. So there goes the half-time whistle, and it is a story of parity. Stuart, what have you made of the visitors' display? Well, the hardest thing as a coach is to get both sides of the game right. Today's a great example. They've looked solid defensively, but once again, they haven't posed enough of a threat going forward. It'll be interesting to see how they approach the second half. And the match is underway. And he's through here. But can't avail himself of the chance. Will he be disappointed with that? Maybe it's just come a bit too early for him. A creative look about this. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. And that pass could be troublesome, but how well he did to react in that manner. But he keeps going. Interception to snuff out the danger. Savanier. Now, do they mean business on this occasion? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending.
Losing possession. Promising sequence. In behind for him to chase. And a fine stop. Here it is now, a substitution. He's driven in the corner. On well, the corner, too close to the goalkeeper that time. Mamadou Sacco won it back Nian firing it towards goal ball is loose oh body in the way crucially can he put them in front well the keeper is happy the bar was there Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. 20 minutes to go. Promising attack, this. Long way out. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Substitution time as is here. Jordan Ferry and back with Leroy. Well, the pass not finding its target. Just 15 minutes remaining. But after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Suke. Well, when you sit off like this, you invite pressure. Every pass hitting its target. A terrific pass. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. Amadou. Bubakar Kuyate. Couldn't hang on to it. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Well, he's given us away. Jory Chotard, Ristic, and back with Leroy. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. Still pushing for a winner. Bit of work to do and getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Didier Lamkelze is given it straight to the opposition. And so the referee brings the 90 minutes to an end, all even here.